A 30-day I Am Nigerian campaign kicks off online. Nigerians in the UAE affected by a change in government policy on work permits for unskilled workers hope to carry favor and change negative perspectives. Before now, Nigerians have this opportunity here. If you have given us the opportunity before, it's not a right, it's a privilege. We appreciate them for that. We commend them for that. In fact, kudos to them. If there is anything that I want to make them to change it, we want to plead with them in a short form that they should reconsider our people. It's now seven months since hundreds of Nigerians have been jobless and in some cases homeless. Work permits granted by the Labour Ministry have been denied applicants new to the system as well as others who have been working in the country but cancelled their contracts to join new companies. I tried and keep trying and the company told me they've, uh, they need to start the project so since they're not able to get the approval of the work permit from the um, authorities, they would have to defer my uh, appointment. So that's how I got affected. A work visa is the most common route to get in residency in the Middle Eastern country. This means all those who lost their jobs have also lost their residency status. Doctors, nurses, teachers, are categorized as skills level one and two. Under recent circumstances, their applications should be granted. But some in this category have also been affected. If you are working as a customer service and your profile is taking, um, is having a waiter profile, then automatically there's going to be a problem when you want to renew your document because um, they, it falls under skill level three. So it, it is not going to be something that will be achievable as, as it is, since there is a problem at hand. Even less than a week ago, there was a communication between myself, the leadership of pro Nigerians in UAE, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs. And he gave another word assurance that he's in contact and is working on this issue with UAE government. That is all we can say. What exactly they are doing, we may not be able to say. But the word of the Minister of Foreign Affairs is clear and sound that they are working and they are discussing, engaging and consulting with UAE government. It's unclear why these restrictions have been introduced. Officials at the Nigeria High Commission say the UAE is repositioning for its next 50 years. Last April, the UAE cabinet adopted a strategy for talent attraction and retention, aimed at placing the UAE among the top three countries in talent attraction and availability of highly skilled employees. However, many jobs denied Nigerians today are still open to other nationalities. Expectations are high that the Nigerian government will continue to engage the UAE government until there's a favorable resolution, especially since the UAE Foreign Commission recently opened a visa application and document attestation center in Lagos, Nigeria. In the meantime, the UAE Ministry of Labor has provided residents an opportunity to contact the minister on matters of concern. Some Nigerians claim they have received favorable answers through the portal. So maybe all hope is not yet lost.